Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome back to the channel. So this came out like eight hours ago. I know it's already late for the reaction world. It's 9 p.m. right now where I live. Um, so yeah, bit late, but better late than never, I guess. Uh, this will probably not get a lot of views, but I don't care. I just want to give my opinion on this and uh, enjoy the song with you guys, my whole Metal Breakdown family. Uh, also, yeah, why the fuck am I dressed like that? Because I just finished to work and I was too lazy to change myself. So you have it. But yeah, it's not really fitting the whole deathcore vibe that we will get today. By the way, um, the album cover. I assume it's the album cover. So far, only the single has been released, but I think it's the album cover. It's, it's incredible. It's so beautiful. I don't have it in front of me, but I remember looking at it and I was like, wow, chef kiss. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a music video to go with it. So let's go, guys, for the review and reaction of You Must Die, the very first single from the upcoming Suicide Silence album. Let's go. I feel like the music video will be sick because on the thumbnail, Eddie looks like a fucking freak, and I love that. <laughs> you must die. Already massive, the cleansing vibe, they're very good album. Just like the standalone song last year, Thinking and Pulse. Eddie looks so badass with long hair, I love that. This is so groovy. <laughs> this call is just fantastic. Massive frog for the side silence. Is this Mark had his hair removed? What the fuck? By the way, the new drummer looks like a fucking badass. <laughs> he looks so freaky. I love that. I thought that the song was already over. I was like, no, this is way too good. Don't stop yet. It's crazy how they all became like super bold. Just on the verge of dying. What the fuck? And they're all dead. So fucking sad, but so fucking brutal. Massive, massive, massive first fucking single by Suicide Silence from their upcoming album. Wow. So yeah, is this the name of the album as well? I'm not sure anymore, but it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Massive, massive, massive thumbs up. I feel like the last album was already a big step in the right direction. Um, but this is like something else. This is even better. This is on the level of You Can Stop Me, which was for me a fantastic album and even on the level of the first three albums with Mitch. Uh, so yeah, massive, massive thumbs up to Suicide Silence. Um, it, it took them a while to come back after the self-title and then 
with the album that succeeded. I don't remember the name, but it's the album with uh, Love Me To Death, which was the first single, but I'm not sure what was the title anymore. Um, like I said, for me, this album was just good, but nothing crazy. But this one will definitely be amongst their best. And by the way, I was watching the podcast of Johnny Price from Avenged Sevenfold recently. He had um, Chris Garza as a guest, and he said that uh, the self-title almost killed the band. I remember I was there doing the reactions to the new singles back then. I was one of the people who was shitting on them. Sorry for that, guys. Um, but I did not think that it affected them this badly. It's crazy. It almost ruined the band. They say, oh, we usually do like 2,000 people show. And uh, at the time of the self-title, like barely 100 people were coming to the show and they were not selling merch anymore. And it was almost the end of Suicide Silence. So it's crazy. Maybe knowing that, I would not have been that harsh on them uh, back then, especially since I was once at a show of Stone Temple's pilot with two members of um, Suicide Silence. I think it was Eddie and Chris or Eddie and Alex, the former drummer. I don't remember anymore, but crazy stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully we, you enjoyed the song as much as I did. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section. Take care and I'll see you all next time.